She only found encouragement to develop her intellectual gifts, but also saw a faith community that consisted of blacks and whites together. That experience led the charismatic Thea to become a nun herself, and despite opposition, introduced African-American culture, music, and spirituality into Catholic worship. We're pleased to have with us the authors of Thea's song, Charlene Smith and John Feaster. Thea had been a friend of mine when I worked in the deep south of the United States and I had some interview materials tucked away in my basement and Sister Charlene was her classmate way back in the convent and so between us we put together a story not only of her formation but then also of her work as an adult in intercultural work in the deep south. You know at heart Thea was an intercultural worker. Thea Bowman was a black Catholic sister and who really came to some prominence in the 1980s and I think when I got the idea from uh, Sister Charlene Smith who really started this book who was a classmate of Sister Thea's I came to Orvis Books because they work so much with intercultural groups and the uh, publisher at Orvis who was then Mike Leach was very excited he said oh and Robert Ellsberg they loved Thea Bowman because she's such an inspiration to the whole church. They're very important, and especially they're sensitive to books that help people reach across cultural boundaries. And that's really what Sister Thea Bowman was all about.